Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and, one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. Um, sorry, sorry that Arlene is not here today, but on this um, topic today, we will focus on housing and people with special needs and the, um, LB, the LGBTQS community in New York City and beyond. Um, with us to discuss this and many important um, topics within the com in that community is Reverend um, Carmen Hernandez, uh, Chairman and President of the uh, LGBTQS uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce of New York City. And uh, but before we do that, we would like to say um, thank you to our sponsors: Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and um, many, many, many others. Um, uh, thank you to all who support Ableton On Air. Um, welcome, Carmen, to Ableton On Air. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's get started. Uh, what is um, your Chamber of Commerce, and how does it work within your community? Well, it's, it's, um, it's about small businesses, uh, the LGBTQS. We got gay and straight uh, chamber. Uh, and what we do, we power them in their business and achieve whatever goals that they want to achieve. That's what we do. We help them and they help each other. They have to join a membership and that membership, um, you know, all the members get connected with each other and we do workshop, we do, you know, events and so on and so on. Okay. So explain to me uh, what has been going on because uh, I've been following what you're what you guys are doing for many years, uh, both in the Bronx and now we're, uh, I'm here in Vermont. Um, what exactly um, has been going on with housing and people with disabilities? Let's start there. I know that's a big um, topic that you do cover and you do help people. Uh, what exactly is happening? Because, you know, housing for people with special needs is a very big, huge topic, especially in the Bronx. Yeah, uh, you know, you try to do the fight, you know, with against the religious people, not the not the people that are Christian that understand and accept. It's the religious um, folks that they just live in the old time and they stuck there, and mm -hmm. that's what they don't accept the LGBTQS community, and that's what the fight we have here to mm -hmm. make sure. My job is to make sure that we have a voice 
and that all these businesses that are LGBTQS could function and be accepted like any other other business in New, in New York City mm-hmm. and especially in the Bronx. So, but explain a little bit now. There's a difference between New York City housing and then also state housing and rural housing. See, here in Vermont, we're in rural housing. So, uh, from what I understand, it's all from the same pot of money, but New York City housing has too many chiefs or too many people handling things, and they don't handle just one thing. They handle a lot. So, I mean, you have... um, and this is these are horrible conditions for people with disabilities. Um, ceilings are falling down, um, rats, uh, 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 mice, um, no heat, no hot water. I mean, it runs the gambit. So um, we we understand here at Able Dinner on Air. We understand that you have gone or Monica Morales has been helping you from WPIX. Um, but what exactly have you been doing to help people at NYCHA or the constituents there? Well, besides that, I'm the president of the chamber. I'm also the TA president, Tenants Association um, president. Mm-hmm. Um, we have our own corporation, which is 1471-73 Watson Avenue. Uh, mm-hmm. That's our development's name. So what happened is, is the office management is the problem. The people of the office management is not doing the job correctly. They're not addressing the, the needs of the tenants. Um, this is a big issue, a problem that I've been going through myself. I've been bullied by them um, in such a way. I mean, they robbed my community room uh, four times. Um, this is, I hold the office manager responsible because you have to set your employees and organize. You know, I never saw a thing like this in my life that a person that is a manager don't know how to manage. And, and it's not a people person, mm. you know. She's a bully. She's very disrespectful for us tenants. And, you know, she think we, you know, she even, she's Puerto Rican and she tells another Puerto Rican, oh, I know how you, you people are, you know, what kind of thing is that? You Mm. know, Uh, uh, your, your humble abode or where a person lives, especially when, when it comes to people with special needs and elderly, you need certain services. And when you're not getting them, uh, you know, I mean, it's. I mean, it's not about passing fault, but if New York and, for example, if America is the richest country in the world, and we are the richest country in the world, right? We spend more money on guns and on the the. Um, the Army, Navy, and Air Force than we do on our people who need services. I mean, food, their hunger is a big problem. Housing is a big problem. Transportation is a big problem for people with disabilities. Um, the MTA is one of the most, is the worst transportation system in, in the five boroughs I ever saw in my life. And in the world. Exactly. You know, so other, you know, other countries that they are disability able, you know, that they make it easy for mm. a disabled person to be independent and go on these trains. Uh, I, I get anxiety. I cannot use the train for the life of me because it's not um, disabled friendly. Mm-hmm. And even my scooter got stuck one time and I was like, hell, hell no, I'm not taking mm. this train again. You so know? so you're you're a woman of the cloth. You help to help the, the community, um, if, if you don't mind me, uh, you know, putting this out there, um, you know, you, you're a person that has overcome your challenges. So what, what exactly, uh, so people can know about you and, and, and what you've done. Um, what's some advice that you can give our viewers for those that have challenges and what challenges have you overcome so people can know about that? you know, your story. Well, I'm going to blush you, but um, you know I'm a big fan of yours. <laughs> and when I see you, you make me look like a wuss but not complaining of my illness. And you, it's, it's seeing people that, you know, that has a mentor, that is someone that you admire, that gives you the strength. 
and you're giving me the strength, Lawrence, to go on and fight. You know, I say if he could do it, I could do it, and that's that's how I work. That's how I do. I've been blessed with uh, meeting you and and doing things with you. is It's been an honor of mine, and I think it's my mentor, people that guide me and take me to you know give me the strength that I need because we all need that. Mm. We all need somebody to help us when we're down. So mm. I thank you, Lawrence, and I and I I want to say it publicly. Uh, you're an amazing human being, and I'm so honored to be your friend. Thank you, thank you. Um, so explain a little bit of, um, more about the services of your chamber and the services that you guys provide. Well, we do, we partner with like the SBA, Small Business Administration. Um, right now we're working on um, partnering with the Cooney College in, in Brooklyn uh, College, and we're gonna do a workshop there coming now that we, uh, opening up to to connect, you know, in person. So mm -hmm. we're gonna start doing workshop, like help them get certification, um, you know, to they could do, you know, contract with um, corporate company mm -hmm. and things like that. That's what we do. We empower mm -hmm. small businesses uh, how to mm -hmm. achieve and 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 do their business right. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, you know, it hit uh, a lot of agencies for um, people with special needs. How was your, um, and I know everything is m mainly Zoom now, uh, you know, a lot of times because of the pandemic. Um, how has your agency been, pin been uh, pinpoint, you know, been affected during the pandemic and how have you been able to persevere from that and help people in your community? Um, what we, what we, it's been hard um, for all of us, even our chamber, because you know we 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 survived by membership, and I haven't charged my members at all. It's going three years now, because it's hard on them. We have restaurants that lost their business, um, you know, and 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 some yeah. restaurant tours. Some people that we know passed away. Uh, Joe, as a matter of fact. One of the biggest yeah, restaurants, my, yeah. My godfather, Joe Torres, uh, that was hard on me. Um, not able to be there and, you know, and just, you know, mourn him. And that's the saddest thing in my life that I will, um, maybe God, maybe it was best just, you know, just um, remember him in the good time, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's, I, I take it that way. Mm -hmm. Now, um, now, explain, um, how can I put this? Um, so, so let's go into some of the things that have been happening, you know, bullying around um, the L LGBTQS community. Um, recently, they just passed a law in Florida um, about, you know, youth. Um, Gay. <laughs> yeah, about that. What is your take on, you know, not saying the word gay or, you know, bullying around people it's with that. this? It, again, Lawrence, this is about religious folks, um, and and they and this is a problem. You should not um, supposed to by the constitution. Our religion and and politician doesn't work. You can cannot put your personal. Um, vendetta against other people so why are you doing it you know if you complain about the lgbt people uh, because we campaign and because we want a life like normal like anybody else mm. give us that respect you know they are decent lgbt young people that mm -hmm. are going to school and college that their own kids are not doing because or, or because they got privileges but these kids struggle to stay in school and make something out of themselves you know so respect the lgbt um, community they mm -hmm. deserve it. We are decent human beings. And, you know, we have to continue the fight. They want to bring back, you know, the old days. And you got to wake up. The old days, you know, you're losing. You cannot uh, make Florida a third world country like Puerto Rico. Um, mm -hmm. That's what we believe in the statehood. Um, in, in my mother's honor, we're going to fight until we make Puerto Rico a statehood um, because we is, is the deserve. It's been a long time in the coming. And we, we're not going to allow communists or socialist people because they want to control. It's all about controlling, Lawrence. You know, when you want to control a community or, or people or a nation, 
you know, they go beyond to lie to people, um, deceive people. And so, you know, these are things that we soldiers of God, because I'm a woman of God, I'm a youth community pastor, and mm. I don't throw my, my religion on anybody. I mm. throw my faith, you know, my relationship with Jesus Christ, that he loves me, he loves you. So that's what I live. Thank God I live with, 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 with humanity. And I live, you know, being true to myself and true with others. I cannot be a Christian and be something that I'm not behind the closed doors. Mm. I am the same person in my home as I am the same person when I walked out of my house. Mm. So um, talking about how strong your advocacy is, you know, before we get to you being a pastor, um, Harvey Milk, who was a politician back in the 1970s, he brought out um, LB, LGBT uh, uh, <clears throat> issues and he fought for, he tried to fight for, you know, the rights of um, LGBTQ uh, 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 situations. Uh, can, we, can you talk more about the advocacy of your work and then let's bring him into it because he was big at that time. You know, yeah, they, because he, he was smart. He was a smart guy. He knew the suffering that we were going through. And until you know the suffering of the LGBT community, and he said, you know what? Let me run for office to make change. And I think he's the very first, uh, unless somebody is hiding, but he's the first LGBT person that went out there as a gay man and won. And then in his death, they tried to sign. They tried to silence him. They basically. tried to silence him, just like they tried to silence me too. Mm. So you know, I, I I just I just live by my my difference is that I have faith in God, mm. just like that, and that God favored me, and that's something that you know to this day. I praise the Lord that he guides me, he protects me, um, just like that song, Angels Watching Over Me. Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of angels. You know, I got my mom who, who who died three years ago. May she rest in peace. And I have, you know, my grandmother and Joe. All those angels are watching me, and I truly believe that. Okay, so talk about you being a youth pastor, because, um, you know, during the holidays, you give food away, you give toys away, you, you have these drives and you help the community out. Um, how ha has your work as a youth pastor carried over to the community you serve? Yeah, um, I was ordained October 11, 1997. Uh, that's a very long, long time. <laughs> and what I do is uh, when you were, you know, I was a child that didn't have a child. So I know what my community kids um, needed. They just needed a, a one day at escape and have a good time and, and encourage them to stay in school because that was my goal is to encourage them, um, you know, to stay in school no matter what you go through. And I thank God that a lot of those kids, <clears throat> excuse me, a mm -hmm. lot of those kids made it high school and college. So it was worth, you know, cause sometimes you ask yourself is this, you know, I'm doing the right thing. If you know, because you sacrifice your whole life, you know, this is 40 plus years community work. I done mm. community all my life, so you know, and it, and it was everything is worth it. Every every sacrifice, every tears, every scratching your head, and even getting upset. But you know, because mm -hmm. sometimes people press my pistol button that I call, don't press my pistol button. But I praise the Lord that these kids. Um, they done good, and I'm very proud of that work mm -hmm. because I deal with street kids, you know, trouble kids. Uh, so that's my calling. I got that calling to deal with troubled um, teenagers. Now, why um, I'm going to ask you about the so it's LGBTQs? Why um, or how has it changed, or how has the community changed with with the community you serve? So it's so uh, transgender and queer why um why the changes in the names uh or how has the community changed such that it it, it expanded uh, can you explain a little bit more uh, more about the history of of the L lgbtq I, I i love the transgender community um i could say all my life i remember a transgender who was a good friend of my mom and his name was petsy um like the soda and um, she was very, uh, a transgender woman that was um, very humble, 
uh, she looked out for my mom. I remember her very well, and I fell in love with the transgender community. Mm -hmm. And I fight every every breath of my life to make sure that the transgender get the same opportunity, like in the work field. I've been working on that um, behind the scene, making sure that they could get jobs in the work field instead of prostituting themselves um, just to survive. And this has to stop because they are professional transgender with college degree that don't mm. need to sell their body because they need to bring food to the table. And mm. this is something that is dear to my heart and I will not stop fighting until I make sure that the policy change and that they could hire transgender to have a normal. Yeah, go ahead. Job like, like anybody else. Mm -hmm. These are to make sure they get a voice and they are respected. Mm -hmm. Um. But now, years ago, there used to be a lot of bullying around the, um, uh, uh, the uh, um, around the LGBTQ community, um, as far as like in terms of the seventies and eighties. Um, they used to call them. It's a horrible phrase. Uh, gay bashings. Uh, has that? Um, uh, has that? Uh, changed as far as not uh, people people that are LGBTQ um, being bullied because you know bullying is a bad thing, especially around people with disabilities. But ha has that changed? Ha have laws changed against that um, uh, more so now than before? Well, we need to every person in 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 wherever you live, whatever job you have. We have to make the effort to get respect mm -hmm. and respect our LGBT, like we, we spoke previously in this in this um, Zoom meeting, is that you you have to, we all have to come together, gay and straight. Um, that's what my, my chamber is called. Um, it has straight in it because it takes both community to accept each other. And I'm very proud mm -hmm. that this chamber has been the only chamber that's been out there in the straight uh, atmosphere and business like expos we've been the only LGBT and I see um, when I see an LGBT person come through that door to empower themselves in business I feel we've done our job you know and um, we've done a great job uh, advocacy making sure that we have a voice and be treated like anybody else so I want to thank all those expos that we are partnered with uh, like the small businesses expo that have been very awesome with us um, uh, a great partnership and um, also another uh, Manhattan um, college also here that I partner with with Sun with, um, with uh, Zobro and Zobro does Expo so here. Sobro Sobro so we've done um, partnership with the Expo with them as well so that's how you that's how you could get your respect by everybody doing their part and making sure that we don't get bullied and um, that every student and every um, community in the LGBT in the Bronx and in New York City um, would not feel um, being bullied. Though um, it has calmed down a little, but we still got a lot of work to do. We cannot fall for sleep. Um, mm. So I, I want to thank my councilman, my congressman, um, Richie Torres, uh, who's been an advocacy for the LGBT community. And so he's been also an advocacy um, helping us here in NYCHA as well. So. I want to give him a shout out uh, for the great work that he's doing uh, for us here. Have you have your has your organization helped um, with um, you know because um, hopefully they don't overturn this, but you know they they passed um, they passed gay marriage, which is a good thing. Has your organization or as uh, you as a pastor have you helped? Um, uh, um, states with the gay marriage, gay marriage laws, and and you yeah, know, I was, I was the first Latina uh, LGBT who got married in the New York State and in the Bronx. Uh, mm -hmm. So we we fought a lot. I fought a lot to make sure that we have a voice, you know, and respect it, and have the privilege to get married like anybody else. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I'm very proud of that as well. You mm -hmm. know. Um, I, do I you do you see that? Uh, obviously, like I said, we hope not. But you 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 don't see that, uh, or 
certain states overturning that law, or is that law to stay? Is that going to change at all? Uh, this is New York City. We fight hard. Uh, we're hard poor, and we fight to the end. Mm -hmm. So I don't see uh, I don't see them overturning New York. Uh, maybe other countries like you know North Carolina that they're very religious. Uh, because they don't in Israel. Israel, for example, we have family in Israel. They don't view gay marriage. They don't. They don't. They don't like it, or they don't. You know. Uh, so, um, yeah. The religious um, reason, you know, but you know, man has a, a, a say, but God has the power. So it's God that has the last word. You know, human are conditioned. People love you with condition, but God loves us unconditioned. <laughs> And when you learn that word, unconditioned me, no matter who you are, what you are, where you've been, what you have done in life, when you repent and you come to the Lord, he loves you unconditioned, no matter who you are. He loves us and you can, you know, the comparison of people destroy, but God blesses us. This is his land. He created the earth and mm. he created human beings. So you know what? He has the last word, not the people. Mm, pretty much. Okay, so is there anything that uh, you did not touch on uh, through the chamber or through your work that you would like to um, talk about on the show? Yes, I do. Thank you. Uh, mm. We are helping the restaurant. It's called Bring Back Gold Drink. Uh, this is something to help the restaurant because of the pandemic. They lost so much. And this is a law that we want them to pass. And again, it's called bring back drinks to, to go. Um, we, 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 chat with, we, we, we champion with the New York City restaurant, a Latino restaurant um, organization. So we're with them. I want to say that um, thank you, Lawrence, for this platform to support them. And also we're having a trip. Our, you know, I became the, the first woman Latina LGBT to sit in as the chairwoman of the New York State Coalition Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And um, my first role, we're already getting in office. We're, we're already working. Um, I want to thank Frank Gonzalez uh, from Manhattan. Uh, he's a liaison for Manhattan um, District that deals with small businesses. And we are partnerships, so at least it's a start. And we're going, we're going to Colombia. We're going on April 30. Um, to help women that have been domestic violence, they do products like rice um, and things like that. So mm. we're going over there to support them as well. We're going to do it all the Car Caribbean, Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, and, and other places that women have really been domestic violence. Even men have been really um, bullied domestic violence in such a way that women mm. are being attacked. That's another issue um, in another platform, but women has been attacked by men. Um, that still, again, live in those old times that women don't have a voice and we need to continue the fight. And I ask all the women, don't give up, you know, you know, come out of that abuse and mm -hmm. you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay because I'm okay. My mother survived it. So I survived it with her. So I know firsthand what is to be in a domestic violent relationship. Okay. So, um, uh, again, uh, the New York the New York City LGBTQS uh, uh, Chamber of Commerce um, and um, Carmen, Carmen Hernandez, Reverend Carmen Hernandez is a youth pastor who's been championing, uh, uh, championing these, um, these, uh, um, these things and helping the community out. Um, so... Tell us your website and where people can uh, reach you. Yeah, they could do two things. They could Google my name, Rev Carmen Hernandez, and they see all my websites and pages. Um, my website is www.nyclgbtqscc.com. Okay. All. Okay. And, um, yeah, so f for more information on the um the New York City LGBTQ uh, Chamber of Commerce. We uh, you can go to www.nyclgbtqscc.com. That website again is www.
nyclgbtqscc.com. Reverend Carmen Hernandez, um, what's the future of your uh, Chamber of Commerce in the Bronx and beyond? Well, our future is get back, back on our feet again and continue the work. And and now that everything, a lot of it is in, in you know, computer, um, we hope to do it in person because that's much better. I miss mm -hmm. the, the touch and the hugs and, 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 and seeing people eye to eye is very important. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're working on getting that done and just take one step at a time, you know, now and we've gotten off and hopefully we'll, we'll work it from there. And, you know, let's partner together and work together to make things happen. So you have us as a, you have us as a, const, a constant partner, okay? Um, yeah, so what, um, last thing, uh, what are the misconceptions, in your opinion, what are the misconceptions around people with special needs when people first meet them? Well, being, being myself, you know, a, a person with disability, um, it's been a challenge. Um, you know, like for instance, my get my motorized scooter now is being a problem for me to get it. So mm. it, I have been, you know, disabled to not go around and do my chores and, you know, uh, have independence, you know, to go outside to get some fresh air has been very difficult for me right now. These um, health insurance is really attacking um, people with disability that prove that they do need it. Um, so I don't get it how they now blocking a lot of stuff for us not to get. Um, so, and it's happening in New York. Um, it's not only other states, but they hitting New York as well. They're making a lot of cuts and it's very difficult. It's something that is another uh, fight. I'm, I'll be going right now, I didn't mention you, but I'll be going to DC on this following Tuesday uh, with the United States Hispanic Chamber of Commerce that they do every year that we meet and follow up with our politician. So I'm ready having notes ready uh, mm -hmm. to sit with them and, and see what we could do as you know leaders of our community because I have many hats, I do a lot of stuff. So uh, let's see what happens on Tuesday. I'm hoping to come with something positive, something to take with me to help mm -hmm. our community in the Bronx and in New York City. Okay, well, we would like to thank you again for joining us on this edition of Able to On Air. Again, for more information on the uh, LGBTQS uh, Chamber of Commerce, you can go to www.nyclgbtqscc.com. That website, once again, is www.nyc. It's www.nyclgbtqscc.com. The, um, the uh, New York City uh, Chamber of Commerce uh, for, uh, you know, is, is extremely important for the community that uh, you serve, uh, Carmen, and for many others um, who serve on this um, uh, to, who serve this community. Um, thank you again for joining me on this edition of Able to Learn Air. Uh, again, for more information on, uh, on Able to Learn Air, also you can go to www.orcamedia.net. Um, Arlene is not here today. Thank you to our sponsors, um, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many other partners like uh, um, Reverend Carmen Hernandez from the uh, LGBTQS uh, uh, um, Chamber of Commerce in New York City for partnering with Able to Non Air. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, 
www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel and On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.